three. Hi, I'm Robinson, president of Floreos y Compuestas. On my previous videos, I show you how to register pedigrees to our pedigree system. On this video, I'm going to show you how to raise the birds for our yearly competition. So let's uh, turn on the video to the computer. So we will go to the um, Floreos y Compuesta website. You go there, Floreos y Compuesta, and this will appear. This is our website, floreosycompuesta.com. So when you go to Floreos y Compuesta, you're going to see pedigree. So you click on the pedigree. It's going to ask you for your username and password. You need to type your username and password to log into the system. Wrong password. Uh, let me try again. So what's going on? Uh, okay, let me see what's wrong. Now we have wrong password. Oh my god, we're going to try again. It's the, it's the computer, I think. Okay, now we, we have the wrong password. I'm sorry. So now we're here. Um, this is one fun functionality that we just recently added. It. Now you could print. Um, a lot of the pages are print printer friendly, so that means you could print it, and you could have your information either printed, and if you is using Google Chrome, you could save it as a PDF. So, yeah. So um, also you could see the pedigree. Uh, pedigree is here. You click on it. And you could see the pedigree, and you could print the pedigree, which was not available before. So you could print it, print the pedigree in one sheet of paper, or you could um, save it as a PDF. So I'm not going to print it or save it because I don't need it right now. So anyway, so I was talking about the registration. Registration for a competition. You want to register your birds for a competition. So here are my birds for this season. I'm going to click on uh, uh, 2016 which is this season and then I see all the birds it show me that I bred 46 birds um, so I have 46 birds most of the sex is unknown because we don't know the sex I don't know the sex yet so I have a few that I know the sex so I could register those birds for the competition if I want so if I want to register those birds for our yearly uh, championship competition, I will go to registration here. I click here. I already have one bird registered. Let's say I want to register another one. So I will click here on register. Very simple. And it will appear. So group is the grouping. You, you could have a group of up to three birds that you could show. And this is uh, the K position. You could you have bottom, middle, and top. So this is where how you're going to position the the bird in the cage. You could have a maximum of three birds um, in in to show to the to the judge. So here is the the show. We could only we only have one show every year. So you pick the show and that's the day. Uh, so once you set with everything that you want here, all the settings, you just click register. So when you click register, it's automatically registered. And let's say I made a mistake, and um, uh, you could also print it, by the way, but just by clicking here. So let's say I made a mistake, and you could come back and edit it. You could change the, the grouping, the cage position, and whatnot. So that's if you made a mistake. Let's say I, you know, I, I want to change it to uh, group three, for instance or change the cage position to, um, let's say, the middle. So I could just go and update it. Something went wrong here. Uh, uh, okay, that's, that's a mad mistake here. Okay, it should update now. Okay, we have to find out what's going with the, with the update, but um, that should be a simple fix. Um, let's say I made a mistake that... Um, um, I had to remove uh, one bird from the registration, so I just could go and delete it, and uh, it should delete, so the bird is gone. I've gone from the registration, but the bird is still should appear there. So if you go to registration, the bird should be there in the registration area. So let me see. So one, two, three. Yes, it's correct. So. Um, 
so I think this is it for now. Um, thank you for watching, and uh, if you have any questions, or just call or send an email to Floreos y Compuestas, and we should be able to help you. Thank you.